Hey y'all, this is Zachary. Welcome to Burnt Downs Country Kitchen. This evening, I'm calling Audible. Yep, calling Audible. Uh, we had some very good friends of ours want to take us out uh, to eat, so we accepted. Thank you all very much. I'm not going to go into names, but thank you. We appreciate it and love you for it. Uh, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to make a dinner after we just went and had dinner, but I still got to do a show for y'all, right? Well, I got my uh, playoff game coming up. I am a 49ers fan, full disclosure. Let's go Niners. All right, I got to beat the pack. Beat the pack. All right. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some stuff with the waffle iron. Go ahead and do some uh, some kind of appetizers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it'll be quick. It should be pretty easy. Um, basic ingredients. All right, let's get after this food. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of different things. First, I will be making a batter. Got my flour, my different ingredients or seasonings here, because we're gonna do waffle pickles. Yep, waffle iron pickles. They're gonna be good, like fried pickles, but in a waffle iron. All right, and also, I have some ham and cheese, and uh, some scalloped potatoes I had made from scratch yesterday, so they're just leftovers. Might as well go ahead and try to work something out with that too, right? Ham and cheese, scalloped potatoes, oh, that sounds good. But hopefully it all takes waffle shapes, and uh, we'll tear into it. So all right, y'all, let's get after this food. So the first thing you wanna do is start getting your waffle maker warmed up. If you don't have one, I don't know what to tell you, cause that's kind of the point of the show. Um, but it'll be all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and throw our seasonings, use whatever you want in your flour. We're gonna use about a tablespoon or so, some garlic powder, some pappy, some pepper. Usual suspects, you know. Pappies for some color and some flavor. Give that a nice little mix. And then at this point, you can use beer, wine, uh, anything you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use water. Um, water's fine. I'm ready to just go ahead and start mixing it in slowly. You don't want too much in at one time. I tell you guys all the time, put so much in, it's gonna take so much out. Yeah, we'll need more, but definitely start slow. You can add the stuff if you want, like bacon bits or coconut, which I would if it was tenders or some kind of chicken base or something like that. I would definitely do it. I want to tap it in more water. We're almost there. be nice and ready before the waffle maker is, right? Waffle iron. It's about the consistency I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get your pickles out on a paper towel. We're gonna dry them off. They're not going in the oil, so that's not a problem. Uh, which if you ask me, it makes this healthier than fried pickles. But probably still delicious nonetheless, right? We're just gonna go ahead and dip our pickles in the batter. They're nice and covered. We are ready. Good day. All right. Got a nonstick spray here. Go 
ahead and place these on there. I was trying to fall off. Can't have that. Stop that there. And basically, just wait for the steam to stop. So it'll be you know, a few minutes, three, four, five minutes, something like that. Let's go ahead and check on these. It's been about five minutes or so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Waffle pickles, y'all. Waffle pickles. Great. Throw some more in there. Oh, nonstick. Get the nonstick, man. Got my homemade scalloped potatoes I made last night. These are leftovers. Get it in there. Straight from the fridge, too. They're still cold, y'all. Still cold. Cover as much as you can here. Yeah. Get some of this ham. Throw that in there. All right. Like that. Can't get this cheese open with messy hands. Take some more here. Put it on top. And we'll hope we'll get this thing closed, huh? Who knows? Now you can get to close. Oh boy. What do y'all think? I think we'll get to close. Let's find out. No way. This is good hot. Oh man, see all that steam coming up? You'll know it's about done when that steam is done. <laughs> yeah, we definitely stuffed that thing, didn't we? It's got about that much gap. It'll be fine. Two, three days. Be all right. So here we're just waiting for the steam to dissipate. Another five, six minutes. Trying to keep the pressure on it because I can't get it closed properly, so. Still putting pressure on it. All right, y'all, it's that time again. Like, share, subscribe. It does me a lot of good. You know what else does me a world of good? You good people viewing my content. I really appreciate that. Uh, you're not just a subscriber, you watch and appreciate that. Um, all right, y'all, that's enough of the business. Let's go back to the food. Look at this beautiful thing. And all this around the edge is pretty much butter and cheese and stuff that came out of the tater. Can't get under there. Slip and slide in a way. There we go. 
getting it. Look at that, y'all. Crazy. Wow. All right. All right, y'all. We are ready. We got our battered pickles. Battered pickle chips, I guess you would call them. And our stuffed scalloped potatoes. Ham and cheese stuffed scalloped potatoes. Can you see it? Come on. Check this out, y'all. Looks like a waffle, but it is not. It is a stuffed scallop potato, ham and cheese style. Just leftovers. Ham and cheese. That's awesome. Alright, let's do this. Start with our pickle chips. Mm. I love fried pickles. Even ones that aren't fried. Mm. Those are so good. Alright. Got our stuffed ham and cheese, scalp potatoes. Mm. That's so good. Those scalp potatoes were loaded that I made yesterday for dinner. Um, didn't do a video, but I will. Um, they're that good and they, they deserve their own spotlight. So we'll go ahead and do that at some point. But um, damn, I'm gonna get after this. Before my game comes on, go Niners. All right, y'all. Uh, make something, make anything. Make waffle maker fun, right? Just have fun. With your waffle maker. Throw anything you want in there, it's probably gonna harden up and look like a waffle. Won't taste like one, but it will look like one. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna get back after this. And, uh, until next time.